after we got the camera it was uh, end of November and not long after we got it Black Friday occurred and I thought well maybe I should look around and uh, maybe find some kind of uh, lens to go with the camera and I wanted something a little bit you know different I know we had my dad's old 35 to 70 and 70 to 210 and we got the kit lens which is a 18 to 140 DX uh, but anyway I wanted something a little bit different and I wanted something that could you know get a fairly unique effect when you take photography so I looked around at a diff some different stores during Black Friday we finally found Rayala which is a uh, photo store chain from Finland but they also have a couple of stores here in Sweden. Uh, it's our neighbor to the east, northeast, I would say. And uh, this is it. It's a Samyang 8mm Fisheye CS2. It's, uh, this is a bit of a hybrid, I would say. It's a manual fisheye lens. But it also has the, uh, if I can get this off, it has the electronic connectors, so this lens will talk to your camera. I, I believe that's the the main difference between the CS1 and the CS2. So this has the electronics in it to talk with your camera, so you can change the aperture on the fly uh, from the camera. Uh, anyway, it has the maximum aperture of 3.5, and uh, it goes from 3.5 to 22. It has a manual focus ring here, uh, the control of the focus, it goes from a little bit beyond 0 0.3 meters, that's 30 centimeters, uh, and it goes to infinity. And it has uh, markings both for feet and, and meters, so it goes both metric and imperial. But anyway, as you can see, excuse me, big Samyang uh, lens cap. And it came with this, uh, you know, this shield, this here that can remove. And as you can see, uh, it has the typical fisheye look to it. It's uh, an extreme wide angle. It's uh, almost, I would say, almost a 180 degree wide angle lens. And I've seen this lens under a couple of different brand names, uh, Sam Yang being one of them. But I got this at the, uh, you know, the Black Friday sale, and I thought I got a fairly good deal at, on it. There we go. And uh, the thing is, fisheye lenses are a little bit of a love-hate thing, actually. This is made in Korea. There are, of course, Nikkor versions and so on made in Japan, but they are usually very much more expensive. But I've seen some uh, photographers... Uh, around on YouTube. For instance, I've seen Matt Granger using a tilt shift lens in one of his videos and that was a Sam Yang. So if uh, a brilliant photographer like him can use a Sam Yang, a complete novice uh, amateur like me can surely use it. So anyway, if I would do a music analogy, I would say definitely, oh we're gonna need some, oh yeah we need some a shot of mood lighting for this but if I would do you know do a music analogy about the fisheye lens I would say the fisheye is the wah-wah pedal or wah pedal of the lens world so you know Buddha child's light return this is you know the fisheye it's the the Dunlop crybaby of the photography world and it has to be used tastefully. You can, this can be overused. Just like the wah pedal, it can be overused. You have to use it tastefully. You have to use this, not conservative, conservatively, but you have to use it tastefully. Because if you use this in the correct way, you can get some really nice effects. You can both make very you know whimsical landscape photography you can almost make a panorama with this lens and you get that incredible fisheye effect but you can also do you know a 
noir style you can make it you know almost claustrophobic you can make an average thing look very very interesting with the fisheye but it can be overused that's the thing it can be overused so if you're going to use a fisheye use it tastefully that's all i have to say but for what it is would i recommend you getting a fisheye well it depends a bit of your photo photo photographic taste if you think that this would be a benefit to your photography if you you know do a lot of artsy style photography and so on would i recommend a fisheye yes i would this is an eight millimeter so an extreme wide angle uh, and uh, you can you can overuse it so if you're going to get a fisheye use it take care of it but don't use it exclusively use it in conjunction with the other lenses it doesn't matter if it's a wide angle normal range or telephoto there is a place for the fisheye but it has to be used tastefully that's all for me and i'll see you guys in the next video take care for now peace out this this is so old we call it it's not it's not old it's antique see when it's old and good it's antique so this is another one of my antique pedals